Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. Today we are checking out the Smart Sign integration for Sonoran Cat. If you didn't know, if you have Sonoran Cat Pro, you get Smart Signs for free, which is pretty cool. It's a partnership between Sonoran and London Studios. We've covered a lot of both of their um, products before, so I'm kind of excited to see kind of the combination between the two. So, if you don't know what Smart Signs is, it adds those billboard signs around the GTA map, and you can actually customize the text on them. And what this um, combination kind of does is allows you as a dispatcher to actually edit the signs wherever you want here and do it in here and it will sync into what it is in game which is awesome um, and it also allows you to modify them on the live map if you have that enabled um, so let's go ahead and get started first off you if you've purchased this uh, plugin from london studios already what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and not use that version because it's a little bit different from the one for Sonoran Cat. So the one for Sonoran Cat, you're gonna to go to this page, I'll leave a link down in the description, and you'll say, purchase the resource from free. Then this will take you to their Smart Signs copy, and then you're gonna press download now. And what this is gonna do is, this is gonna send you to Tebex and have you enter all your stuff and log in, add it to your basket, check out just like you normally do. And then when you get to Keymaster, it will show Smart Signs, and this is gonna be the one that you're gonna download. So we're gonna go in and download this. And we're going to put this into our server. Remember, with Keymaster Assets, you have to be on a newer server artifacts, at least the latest recommended. So make sure your server artifacts are up to date. But if I open this up with WinZip 7-Zip, you can see in here we have all of the files we're going to need. Now we're just going to go ahead and go through the uh, tutorial here. So it says we need to make sure it is below Sonoran CAD. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our servers. And in this case, I'm going to be using my um, dedicated server to install this. A little bit different than we normally do. The reason for this is I have all my API endpoints and stuff linked to that server so I could use the live map and stuff rather than localhost. So in here, you can see we have all these files and I have the smart signs um, underscore Sonoran here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this in here, but sometimes FTP gets a little picky with those resources. So I'm gonna drag it to my desktop first and then drag it in here. And you can see over on smart signs, it says configure um, this. So you wanna start the resource. So we'll do ensure um, smart signs underscore Sonoran, and then we're actually going to have to rename uh, config underscore rename to config.lula. So we'll do that in just a moment. But first, let's go down to wherever our resource server.cfg is, edit it with Notepad++, and I'm going to go ahead all the way at the bottom underneath Sonoran CAD, ensure the name of the thing. So I actually copied ensure already. Smart signs Sonoran, we are good to go there. All right, now if we go back into our overall folder, we're going to find smart signs Sonoran, and we're going to see that there is a config underscore readme.lula. We're going to rename this, and we're going to rename it to config.lula, I believe. Let's just confirm that. So we rename it to config.lula, yes. Um, and then in here, you can obviously, just like any other London Studios thing, modify what you need in here, band words, um, ace permissions if you want it, VRP, uh, Kubu Core, ESX, all that can be configured in here. So if you want to set up any of that, you can do that in here and you have the default text as well. Set that all up to your liking as you need it. Uh, now what we have to do is obviously make sure our game server IP and port are set inside of the CAD. Go to advance and go to in-game integration and under configure and deploy, I have enable map and I have all of my information here. So hopefully I blur that out so I don't have people randomly joining our recording server. And then you can see how to use in-game usage when you're approaching the sign. You can um, use it and have a control panel there, but you can also modify it inside of the CAD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start our my 5M server. So I'm going to go ahead and start it and let that resource reload on it. Um, I'm not going to share the screen of the console because obviously it has all the IPs and everything on it. But as long as in the console you see started resource Sonoran underscore smart signs or smart signs underscore Sonoran just after the rest of your stuff starts up, you know you are good to go. So now if we go into our dispatch, so we're gonna go back to the community member menu, we're gonna go to dispatch, and then we're gonna look over here under um, dispatch, and you're gonna see street signs. You can open this up, and you can see here is where you're gonna actually be able to modify all those street signs. Los Angeles Freeway, test, 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 and that's what it's gonna be looking like, and I'll go ahead and save that. So that is pretty cool, you can actually edit it in here. Why don't we hop in game and take a look at what it looks like. All right, so we are in game here, and here are all the locations of every single sign in the plugin, which is pretty cool. It does show that. So obviously we are on the one 
sign identifier 34 right out here outside of Polito. What's also cool is you can actually copy um, and paste all of your ones. So I can copy this and then I can go ahead and select every single one that I want to paste it in. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it in every single one of these, whatever you want and press save. Now you can see they are all looking like that. When I get in game, accident ahead, walk your speed just like that. So let's go ahead and showcase how you can change this from in game if that is something that you want to do. So I'm going to go over here to the little box and then I'm going to press E to adjust the sign. Text for line one, I am noodles. Or I'll, I'll make it more realistic. Um, welcome to Polito. I actually won't do Polito. I'll do um, welcome to death. I don't know, something like that. Make that sign, welcome to death, just like that. And over here inside of um, the thing, we're going to search for wherever our thing is. Sometimes it doesn't reload, but it should automatically reload. Let's see. Uh, where is welcome you should see it. There it is. Grapeseed Main Street. Welcome to death. And obviously you can change it. Welcome to YouTube. Something like that. Save it. And then it will change in game. Pretty cool indeed. So one of the best plugins I think is that's available for 5M and it's all over the map and you can have fun with it. So please use it if you want. And um, it's great that it's free for Sonoran CAD Pro users. So make sure to check it out if you haven't already. Other things coming this week. Um, Sonoran Radio and a few other 5M resources, Minecraft server reviews, 5PD on Friday. Can't wait to show it all to you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time while I lie down on the freeway. Bye everyone. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up.